is all that you can say. That's all they say in the story. But what the fuck is what I'm hearing? Sorry. That's all you can say. We done went through this whole bottle. And somebody is like, or they will be saying, ain't no way in the hell. That wasn't the first thing you wasn't supposed to tell me type of energy. They trying to talk it over, over some drinks. And these two don't need to drink together. They can sociably drink with anybody else. You know, I can feel it. I can feel it. I can feel it rising to the top. Not this power couple. Not anymore. This was thought to be a prosperous chosen two. Built for this shit. They return to one another after being scattered like thorns, but kicking rocks with open toe shoes on? Yeah. It's time to go. It's time to go. It can be no more. Chosen. Chosen to correct you on this shit, Rick Road. But. It's through divine expression, not through no karmic shit. Sorry. That's all they gonna say is sorry. And they gonna look at you like what you want me to what you want me to tell you. Y'all know what I'm coming to do, right? I'm coming to bring you the actual factuals. I'm here to get you hip to what you hip to. I hip you on to what may be hidden. That's what's hidden is that you are old of big ass apology somebody has you believing that you are the culprit you are the reason for the demise of this connection and really you are already trained for this type of karmic ass behavior these lessons they don't taste too good neither do it that bottle y'all drink you don't even like that shit no more you don't like that shit no more somebody brand new too Somebody brand new, they could have just copped some shit. They could have just copped a bag, could have copped another bottle, copped some shoes, could have got pulled over by a cop. And some balloons in the air somewhere, one of them little wavy things, like for the uh, a car lot advertisement somewhere. Somebody stay by one, you riding by one to get to the house or to go to work, or you can work at one. USD. USD. That snore. Somebody wishing that they can hear a snore. Now somebody is kind of like, you know, was that Peg Bundy, y'all, or married with children? She needed Al to snore. Now somebody is wanting to hear the snore is what I'm hearing. Although, you know, they want to elbow somebody or smother them with a pillow. They want to hear this snore so bad. I started snoring when I was 30. I started snoring because I was stressed out. And they just stuck with me. <laughs> I ain't going to even lie. But look, are you stressed? Are you stressed about your person? Y'all break up something? You have to sleep on the couch, dude? You kicked her out? Kicked him out, queen? Can y'all see these? Let me see. Should be able to. Your person. Your eyes aren't failing you. Mine's failing me a little bit, though. So I need some collective, collective, huh? Some corrective lenses. 
somebody needs some corrective lenses. They can't see that good. They can't see that well. Somebody really physically can't see in this 3D. They can have some myomas. Is that something with the eye? Um, astigmatisms. You know, somebody um, wants some um, colored uh some colored contacts is what I'm hearing as well. Somebody got on some purple contacts. Somebody serve a color as purple. It don't taste so good no more, do it. Nope. Nasty taste in the mouth. The food not even good. It's energy in this home now. It, it, it feels like somebody is turning their back on this household. They're like, this your issue. This your issue. Meanwhile, I feel like if this is not an Aries we talking about, it's an Aries looking like you playing, but they not playing. They not playing. Somebody's lover. There's been a shift. It's a change in the energy. Somebody need an attitude adjustment. It's some good news that came about. Since the cat is finally out of the bag. Hey, somebody has some deviant little badass little kids and shit about to put a cat in the bag with them put a cat in the bag with some firecrackers or some shit and twirling the cat around in the dang old um, knapsack or in the pillowcase let's get these kids together and let's not let them do some animal cruelty let's get them let's get them together okay I just heard that somebody in trouble somebody in trouble Somebody's back is turned. Somebody feel like they back against the wall too. Somebody feel like they back is against the wall. Steady is what I'm hearing. Steady. But you know what what I'm saying? Hold. The same from three hundred. Give to them nothing but take from them everything. That's what I heard. Yes. All consonants, all vowels. They they speaking loud to them. Give to them nothing, but take from them everything. Yeah. I don't know. Did you say somebody feels like doing the same thing over and over again? Or snickering and kissing somebody's ass. Somebody thicker than the snickers. Kissing somebody's ass is going to get them some different results. When in all actuality, all they doing is selling their soul and playing their soul. Because for one, this is your abundant energy. This is somebody trying to siphon your energy. You, you, you auditioned for this type of time already. You know what I'm saying? You won. Because it was a karmic stage is what I'm hearing. A karmic stage, a lot of shit played the fuck out is what I'm hearing. But the Jesus, like, this good news that they got coming down the pipeline, it could be a text message. It could be a spiritual message. It could be an email. It can have something to do with, with business. You know, you need to stand on that business is what the Jesus is saying. It's a critical point right now in your life, and this. It's not about the blame game or why I can't do this or why I should put it off and procrastinate because somebody didn't already had their life on the back burner. A burner. Somebody smoking weed and somebody got a throwaway. And somebody got a throwaway. What's this? And somebody got a throwaway. There's some karma coming. Through these karmic activities, these karmic 
relationships, this karmic masculine or karmic feminine. You hear me? There's a leaper involved as well. I'm seeing this dude either need protection from this woman. Yeah, this dude might need protection from this woman. This was spoken already. This was been spoken already. The unsuccessful attempt when it comes to the run of the meal. The run of the meal is what I'm hearing. This meal too. It don't taste the same, right? It don't taste the same. Somebody's taste buds fucked up too. But it they got they got a different taste. You not know, say taste for real, you not know, say style. You're not the type. And this is somebody who really never had a type, but they have a type. It's somebody that they have not been able to get out their system. You hear me? Somebody that they have not been able to get out their out they system. What else? I don't know what's going on, but playtime is over. Playtime is over. Falling over this person's words, right, is what I'm hearing. Falling over these this person's words. Somebody is listening to one or more individuals when it comes to a certain set of circumstances in their life. The spiritual guidance that they were seeking out brought them some bad news, though. Somebody could have sought out a spiritual practitioner, a tarot reader. But you see what that says? This is what's unexpected in somebody's life right now with this Aries and this Libra, okay? They in trouble. And I guess this man is is what he doing at night for one of these energies, this Aries or this Libra. It could be a woman as well, but it's what they're doing at night. Somebody is unaware, but somebody is unaware what they do at night. It's a time schedule. <clears throat> It's a time schedule. Somebody's on a time schedule. Somebody is leading a double life. I just heard somebody is like Adam Sandler, whatever that's supposed to mean. They could be, you know, a comedian, athletic, um, have multiple streams of income, could be off the scenes, you know, ducking in and out of places, but still, you know, associating with certain members of this one group. It's some side hustle shit. It's somebody's side hustle. Look, it's somebody's side hustle. It's what's not seen though. On this route. It's what's not seen on this route. I feel like somebody going to be trying to, you know, pay attention to their phone. Somebody paying attention to somebody's phone. But you can't see. Again, we got a message like that. Why are you trying? To, it's a short. I don't know why you trying to impress somebody and your ass can't see. Put your glasses on while you on this road. Somebody could be driving a long stretch of road. Look, text messages. Texting back and forth with some finocked head. You knew a finocket head is a goof troop, a dummy, somebody that you don't need to be dealing with who's going to have you about your hookup, place you in some low vibrational energy, you ain't paying attention to the road, there's somebody you romantically involved with now. They want to talk about some truth and loyalty, you know, and yeah, they want to talk about some truth and loyalty. They got the courage while you're not in front of them because it's some sort of, you know, something when it comes to 
them being scared of everything, you know, falling to the wayside then and there. But they couldn't wait until you came back for this talk, right? Somebody could be a Scorpio, a Pisces, or a Cancer. Somebody in some desperado energy. But this was being observed, was already being looked at, was been looked into, who's been looked into. And somebody is angry, they upset, they tired. And they really just want some alone time. They just want to chill by themselves. For real. They just want to chill by themselves. But then we got somebody here who was playing the fence. There's a Capricorn involved as well. I'm saying somebody... <laughs> Wishing they had some bitch be gone spray, y'all. Look. <laughs> Somebody wishing they had some bitch be gone spray. Because they plastered putting up pictures and shit all on Flexbook, on IG, on Twitter. There's some insider um, jokes that's being posted and people hopping on everybody's posts trying to see what's going on. Somebody's talking somebody on social media. Right, and this the other person. Meanwhile, I just heard rusty and dusty. This could be a car, or somebody is talking about somebody's mate, or somebody is talking about somebody's mate. I mean, are you not supposed to trust somebody? And you already know this. You know you weren't supposed to trust this person around your person. Could be this Libra. Don't have to be. It could be this Aries or this Capricorn. Right? So, I just heard... That the problem came with who was riding shotgun, who was all in the car, who was all going, who was all venturing out, right? Something happened. Somebody got pulled over or something. Somebody was driving without a license. Um, somebody's car is in somebody else's name. It may have went to the impound, things of that nature, you know, and people finding out people's names and shit and they like hold up wait a minute motherfuckers can put all kinds of pimping in it yeah so let's about tours no whammy no whammy no whammy stop uh oh no whammy no whammy no whammy stop Ain't no games being played. Cause somebody prayed, and they prayed for supposed to be revealed who was praying on them. You hear me? Somebody is praying against you. This Aries, this Libra, this Capricorn. They all up in your person's mix. They all up in your person's mix, and they they mixing up past, present, and future shit. Shit that they don't even know. They sprinkling some salt, but they ain't using it to ward off no evil, baby. No, they not. They ain't using it to ward off no evil. They lighting some candles, but they not using it to make sure that you are spiritually protected. No, they trying to make sure your life fucked up to be got darn damn. You hear me? Meanwhile, in between time, weapons will form, and if they prosper, they're going to boomerang and go right back and fuck somebody up tenfold. It's a boomerang and route. It's a boomerang and route. So, 
just in the nick of time. Water sign dealing with another water sign. I'm seeing somebody is having some success cracking the code. It's it's not it's not what they expected, but they happy. They don't have to be happy is what I'm saying. Because it's a lot that's being found out. And what's being found out is I know what you did all these years ago. These spiritual contacts, these contacts in somebody's contact list, somebody's not happy about that because somebody's phone is tapped too. Somebody been daydreaming about somebody and they got their picture front and center and they photos or they didn't screenshot it or something, you know what I'm saying? And they talking about, there goes my baby. What I heard is they not feeling anybody's angst or dismay or ill-ass motherfucking feelings when it comes to their person. Fire sign, dealing with the earth sign. Somebody found out. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. That Aries and that Capricorn, huh? Somebody found the fuck out. But it's Pisces and it's Libra got some explaining to do too. It's Pisces and it's Libra got some explaining to do too. Somebody's Aries is pissed. They pissed because they found out. And they pissed because they about to be put back on the sidelines. Look, they about to be put back on the sidelines, but somebody need not worry. Because on the sidelines is where you need to be, because you don't need to be in the game no more. So tuck this. Somebody already took some money, you know. They settled. They didn't recognize, analyze, and realize they were. So they went against the connection with you. I feel like you worked on yourself. I feel like you healed. But I do feel like, you know, whatever connection that this is that is falling apart, it is meant to torment you. It's meant to torment you. Just like the last one. Hmm. Look. It's meant to torment you just like the last one. Because of somebody in your past. You made them feel the same torment that you feel. They help you to heal, though. They're doing a bunch of magic. They help you to heal as well. <laughs> but they have you repeating the same karmic cycle. And the reason why I'm tickled is because this is somebody who is very spiritually talented. And they have gone against grain of their own spirituality in such heinous ways. They've committed so many spiritual crimes. And now it's spiritual suicide because everything that they're doing is going right back to them. Look, everything that they're doing is going right back to them. Masonic Dylan. This is somebody who could be a Mason and was trying to be a 33rd degree Mason. This could be an Eastern star. Their parents could be that as well. I'm hearing when it comes to that, you know, just like the relationship before that, the relationship before that, somebody's been training somebody to stay in a karmic cycle because they was rejected. Somebody is COVID test positive. Mm -hmm. Something is about to be shown to you real quick about a Christian. I said save us from the Christian. That's what G said. Somebody is in an interracial relationship. So look. 
You might be able to introduce you to somebody. <laughs> Whoever this person is who is in this interracial relationship in your family, they're about to introduce you to one of their friends, one of their business associates, could be one of their family members. Look at the bottom. Be careful what you wish for. They could be older than you, and y'all y'all can feel free to reverse the roles. And your kinfolk can be older than you. Some of these interracial relationships aren't with, with um the soul gang has hoped for. It. Or somebody in your energy. And if this has yet to happen, don't hide your spiritual talents, baby. And you let your intuition lead you up off of any shit brick road somebody trying to put you on because you done sidestep bitch ass shit like this before somebody was involved in a homicide it's about to be outed it's about to be outed and somebody is going to be outed Because the enemy is being delivered to the enemy. Did you hear what I said? The enemy is being delivered to the enemy. Nobody is paying attention to their spiritual guidance, and somebody is targeting a divine masculine. This man could be popular, or he could be this celebrity here. He could be one of your friends. He could be targeting you. He could be this mason. He could be trying to initiate you. He could be trying to, you know, bread from you. He could be trying to use sweeten your pot, help you to um, plant your seeds and get ready for your harvest. He could be trying to use you, you know, shit. And with this, don't hide your um, spiritual talent. You highly intuitive, divine masculine, divine feminine. Take it where it resonates. You hear me, divine feminine. This could be your divine masculine who's highly intuitive, okay? And somebody is salty. <coughs> mm -hmm. Salty. And this man can tap into multi dimensional secrets or this esoteric knowledge that he possesses. Yeah. And it's, it's another divine masculine who has been hiding that. And somebody about to be hiding. Somebody about to be hiding. So I'm like, I'm hearing <clears throat> this as soon as they, and I just heard 222. 222. Two, two. The universe has been sending you signs about this divine masculine and divine masculine. The universe has been sending you signs. Somebody wears a lot of weave, drives a nice car. It could be this man. There's a lot of personal shit going on, a lot of personal conversations when it comes to these Scorpios, these Pisces, and these Cancers. That's what I'm seeing. Some woman just got off of her menstrual cycle. It could be an older woman who just got off her menstrual cycle, a younger feminine. Her hers could be just coming on or something. But somebody trying, they, they trying to place themselves in your shoes about everything. Or they going to try to, but they ain't going to have no choice but to turn you in. They ain't going to have no choice but to turn you in. Somebody is using somebody's house as a hideout as we speak. They are. They're using somebody's house as a hideout as we speak. They can wear your house shoes. They can take the garbage, like, to the back door or some shit like that. Ain't taking it to the curb or nothing. Walking around in your house shoes or something. <laughs> That's what I just heard. What else? Let's see. It don't sound like 
this is known, but for some women, it's known that this person was involved in a homicide. They could have um, just been there, and some of these women was involved in this homicide too. Yeah, some of these women was involved in this homicide too. I just heard some of these couples think they Bonnie and Clyde, but, you know, about those STIs that was going around in them 20s and 30s, them syphilis and stuff, somebody's hands got the pricklies is what I just heard. Somebody's hands got the pricklies. Um, I mean, that's something about something being divinely planted. Planted. You hear me? Divinely planted. And it is a part of your spiritual awareness, especially when it comes to this license plate. Okay, I don't know what's going on with this license plate. It's some repeat energy, though. Somebody could have just got a sticker and didn't get a new license plate or something. Somebody juggling, somebody cheating. Is what somebody was doing at night too. Somebody, you you know, trying to rush to get home. Somebody is taking the opportunity to reach out to somebody who they think is a mistress. <clears throat> yep, they're about to take the opportunity to reach out to somebody who they think is a mistress. Towards Virgo Capricorn energy. Yeah. Well, and for if they feel like you um stepping on their toes, that you may be, you know, making a ground shake from up underneath this emperor. This emperor feels like that too. This emperor feels like that too. This emperor's been watching you. There's been a few people watching you. Yeah, look what's at the bottom. There's been a few people watching you. There's people in high authority watching you, too. There's people in high places watching you, too. There's somebody who wants to, um, it's like they want to intercept an invitation. Somebody wants to intercept an invitation. Be careful what you wish for, though, because, look, yeah. Somebody wanna, somebody wanna, like instead of, they wanna beat somebody to the punchline. A karmic wanna beat somebody to the punchline. Something happened around Christmas when it comes to this Aries. It could be a Leo, a Sagittarius involved. I'm hearing a Leo, but most definitely the Aries. With that homicide, Libra. It's about it, it. It was already an ending, but it's about to be another one, and they just gonna keep coming. Because somebody is a fucking asshole. They're a dog, too. Look, they're a dog. And it's somebody's friend. And I say they're a dog because they they bark louder than they bite, for one. Whoever this Cancer Pisces or Scorpio is or whoever they may be dealing with or whoever this friend is. is somebody that you kick it with. Somebody you got love for Somebody you celebrate with, you break bread with. Look, yeah, somebody you break bread with. Now the wine's reversed. There's some unexpected bullshit on the table, right? And it's coming from somebody who's very nurturing, somebody who keeps up. It's like they keep up appearances, too. You know what I'm saying? They still doing the same shit that made you fall in love with them is what I'm hearing. Um, they highly devoted. Hopelessly devoted to you, I'm hearing, too. Hopelessly devoted to you. It's something about this old school, this sexy part. 
Something about this old school, this sexy car. And somebody got a trophy. Somebody got an award. They got an award coming. It's a message with, that's coming with this award, too. Too many. But somebody about to walk away. Oh, spirit, don't give me that many. Mm, the three of cups. Who are you celebrating with? And who is it that you wish that you were celebrating with? There's a whole lot of money in this motherfucker, right? Unexpectedly. But you really got to be careful what it is that you wish for because a lot of shit somebody feels as though it's written in, or etched in stone. But it's, it's, it's other things, you know, that people feel as though it was put on the back burner that's meant to be. You're meant to be. Love is stronger than pride. It's a very powerful connection that has been lacking some evidence of this connection. But I feel like somebody got some evidence of this connection, too. You see that cat? Somebody got some evidence of that connection. And it ain't no unbreaking their heart with that. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy. Somebody felt like because, you know, they were able to, you know, financially provide for somebody and you know they you, they kept themselves up and they provided what, whatever it was that they needed you know as far as materialism was concerned that that was all that was, was needed to keep this relationship and the Jesus saying that is not true Even though somebody is troubled by this breakup, what they're more troubled about is what somebody is leaving with. Possession. And I don't know what's going on with this king of swords energy here. Libra energy. Could be Gemini Aquarius. Don't have to be. But somebody is highly pissed. They pissed. They pissed because somebody else is about to be spiritually and abundantly blessed with somebody that they walked away from is what I'm hearing. They trying to somebody's trying to beat somebody to the punch line. They're trying to get there before Mr. and Mrs. Wright get there. So you better have a discerning spirit, sugar book. 